Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a potential ending for Ninjago Crystallized that may be a little bit brave, may be a little bit unrealistic, but all things considered, if this does happen, I would be very much amazed and surprised. Now, in terms of today's video, like I said, we are just going to be discussing a potential ending for Ninjago Crystallized. This is not a guarantee that this ending will happen. This is just a video discussing what if this ending was to occur and how the series may look going into 2023 based on this possible ending. Now, the possible ending that I would like to talk about for Ninjago Crystallized is based on the Ninjago Legacy Reimagined short known as Golden Legend. And in order to explain my point a little bit more, why don't we head on over to the Golden Legend short itself and I can describe how this ending could work for Ninjago Crystallized once it's all said and done. All right, guys, so here we are on the Golden Legend short. Like I said, Golden Legend was a short that came out alongside Ninjago Reimagined and it features a very, very somber, very dark tone in this post-apocalyptic Ninjago. It's very obvious that a war has broken out or something similar because Ninjago is just in complete chaos as we can see in many of these shots, including Ninjago City right here. As you can see, that is Borg Tower right there in the background among this war-torn Ninjago City. Now, what's curious about this short is that it seemingly takes place after some big event, some big fight, some big battle, something like that, where Ninjago is just completely demolished. As we know in Ninjago Crystallized, a very large battle between the Ninja and the Crystal King, otherwise known as the Overlord, is about ready to take place as well. What if in the scenario of Ninjago Crystallized, the ninja actually lose the battle between them and the Overlord, thus leading to this large post-apocalyptic Ninjago where the Overlord has completely taken over and the ninja are no more? What if that's actually how Ninjago Crystallized ends? Now, the actual short itself has been confirmed to not be canon, but I do think something like this could work as the end of Ninjago Crystallized or maybe even the beginning of the 2023 story. A post-apocalyptic Ninjago where the ninja are gone, the bad guys have clearly won, and Ninjago is very much no more. Leaving only a few survivors, as we can see right here, to pick up the pieces from where the ninja had left them. Now, in the context of the Golden Legend short, obviously we do know that the ninja themselves are in this short. They are right here. All six of them do appear right here. And obviously this would not work in the context of Ninjago crystallized, because Nia is not a ninja anymore. But maybe something like this could happen with the Golden Dragon forms. Maybe this is their final cocoon stage or something like that. Maybe after the ninja have failed to defeat the Overlord, maybe this is what's become of them. They just get turned into these golden statues. Honestly, I'm not really sure about this at the end of the day. I think it is possible that something like this could happen in Ninjago Crystallized towards the very end. Maybe this is what the 2023 story will be all about right here. Maybe a new group of ninja growing up in this post-apocalyptic wasteland after the ninja have disappeared following their defeat at the hands of the Overlord during Ninjago Crystallized. Like I said, I think something like this is very brave of Ninjago to do if they do decide to do this, but honestly, I'm not sure if they will, obviously, because in terms of this Golden Legend short, it is very dark, it is very tragic, very somber. Something like this, and this being the tone for a new Ninjago series, I can't see that going over very well for a lot of Ninjago's primary audience, which of course is younger uh, in nature, since Ninjago is technically a kid's series. I'm not sure if they would go that dark, but they did it here. They did it in Golden Legend in the context of a one-off uh, little short film on YouTube. It makes more sense, admittedly, than doing it for a full-on series. But honestly, I think something like this would make a lot of sense for the Ninjago series if they did decide to do like a post-apocalyptic thing. I think that would be awesome. But honestly, I'm not really sure if Ninjago would do something like this. I think it would be really brave and actually kind of cool for Ninjago to at least try something like this. But honestly, I'm not so sure. I think it would work for the context of Ninjago Crystallized. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I can't really say for certain if something like this will in fact happen. But it would be pretty awesome if it did. So with that being said, guys, thank you all very much for watching today's video. That'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here today. Leave a comment down below discussing what you think about the golden legend ending for Ninjago Crystallized Part 2, and whether or not you think that would work in the context of the actual Ninjago series. And if an ending like this is possible, what do you think the 2023 story could be all about? Thank you all so much for watching once again. Leave all your thoughts down below in the comments, and hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe to all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again in the next video. Peace.